Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. He doesn't stagger, does he? Ah. All right, what are you doing? Is it in projectiles? No. So Lutel is gone. Oh yeah, we can still do damage with his hands. Okay, sounds good. So note to self, don't do anything slow. <laughs> because he can just kill you outright. So if we get in there again, we can death beam him before he can do uh, any of his other stuff. We might as well bring out Lutel now. Some distance. Hold up. What is he doing? Sounds good. Okay. Oh! 
Death beam! Is it gonna kill it? Probably not. <laughs> the answer is uh, FromSoft used the. Uh, so FromSoft seems to uh, be of the fuck you school of game design. Sounds good. <laughs> when you stagger the boss, he will do an instant kill attack. Sounds good. <laughs> I really need to let you just ride through that. Let's see how well you do. to be fully healed or we get a punch on it. Now we're dead. We could look if there's a mod that makes it so that when you're on the ground and unable to dodge, but you can't take damage. That could be interesting. Force add immunity frames. Because it seems like they, like, took stuff from Sekiro, because, like, in Sekiro, you get knocked down every time you take a hit. That was part of their design. Now it just seems like they thought that was a good idea, but then forgot to add in you being able to get up quickly. That's what he did.
I mean, at least it's knocking us over, right? But he died? Good. <laughs> Excellent. And all they need to do is that make it so that when you get knocked down, you can press the button and you can get back up again. Help me again. Forge the Giants. I think there's a set of grace over here. That's a death fall. I think that one over there is less of a death fall. But we even want to go down here though. I think that's a death fall. Not necessarily because of distance, just because there's a hit there. Sounds good. Oh, we have to talk to Melina. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? Yes. Now, let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. sake of the new lord thank you for guiding me here Side flame 
shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Paramazula. All right, so we can't use torrents. Let's get and make our way towards whatever this is. Yes, only. This is an ambush. We can soon aid. Nice. Uh, people jumping on this side? Probably. That's what's happening to most people. Again, I guess it will we'll collect our stuff, but once we do go off, we'll just get like tons more. Yeah, that, that close to a tornado? Yeah, right. The winds would just be... Like, you would not be able to stand at that point. Hello, you. How do you like this? Come on up here. Oh good, he is. Die. These guys aren't like those mini bosses. They probably do enough. They probably do extreme damage. Hmm. Oh, weird. Guess he had like five more health than the other ones. Well, ah, oh. it got our sights. Oh, guys, and almost <laughs> seventy five thousand to uh, very nice. So, we need seventy five thousand just to level up. They're gonna head. 
Hvad er det, jeg gør nu? Der er plenty of dragons out here. Alright, sixes. Hello, dragon. You all about lightning or something? I think I have a way to maybe deal with you. I think we need to use more gravity. More gravity, less... less Kamehameha. Then again, maybe not. So, rocks it is. <laughs> when in doubt, bash them with rocks. So have we always taken our dragons? Hit them with big stones. But he's big enough that we can get under him. So, we might be able to use the meteor swarm or whatever it's called. Uh, this one. Meteor 8. Let's go bash him with me here, right? Show that dragon who's boots. He's gonna come in for him over here. Can try and step up on us. Target his chest. Yeah. Oh, I think we're dead. No, we're not dead. That's good. Can he be stunned? We hit him with a lot of rocks. I'm gonna go with probably not. At least not with this strategy. Alright, no more rocks it is. <laughs> hmm. And use that. Now we'll just bash him with lots and lots and lots of rocks.
Alright then. Yeah, my assumption is he can't be stunned. Yeah, that is my assumption. Alright, so. We have a dragon that's immune to being stunned. That's good. You know what that means, right? That means we avoid it. <laughs> that means it's a whole lot of fuck this. We're instead going to uh, not bother. <laughs> Because we actually want to get through the game. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, we could use that, maybe. Spell Shard could work wonders. Because he's a huge enemy, right? Alright, we're going to summon Ludel. He's gonna come in. And we just wanna dodge this. Okay, that works. Avoid getting hit by that twice. If at all possible. Ooh, the tail's keeping him kind of busy. I got it. We didn't get a dragon heart out of that. I feel gypped. Alright then. We pretty much have no magic. <laughs> okay, more eights. Oh, and here's another one. So they name. They're just like, this is going to take people a little while, and unless they have these things, and the boss can't be stunned. So unless they have these things, this is going to take a bit. Yeah. 
Swimming turn seven's not too bad. He's the last of our resources. That might be a shortcut. Hello, you. Alright, so we can block his entire attack, his entire combat. That's good to know. do next. Not sure what we're gonna do after this. I was thinking we might do Dragon Priest. We might do something else. We'll have to see. Okay, so what is over here? Anything? Item. There be item I hit. So. Hmm. Okay, maybe they're talking about down here. those guys. Oh, hello. You with your death roll. Gold tinged and excrement. Excrement. Disgusting. All right, now it feels like we're playing a 90s game. 90s first person shooter. <laughs> Visions of dog. Okay, we're gonna have a, a fort here with an NPC. Nope. Screw that. <laughs> Alright. So we can get down there. But we'll see. Ancient Dragon Prayable Pieces. Alright. It's somewhere where maybe he can't do anything to us. Alright, yeah, I can block your entire combo. Oh man, all those lag, all that lag. <laughs> Alright, cool, run past him. 
plus de guerre. Right. So it's this. Oh, it's Dumblestoon Miner. Where's it to AIDS? I think it gives up to eight, but we need nines. Maybe we have like one nine. Yeah. We have one nine and we have two of the non special ones. So I activated that. Stand this on. Some dudes over there. Oh, there's skeletons. Dead? No. No skeletons. Now, what would be great is if they had a, a lift that literally just fell out once you used it. It starts lowering you and then it just falls off. Yes. Sounds good. Where do we need to go now? Over here? Alright. Oh, we made it. Embrace. Embrace. Um, not fighting anything and running away. Because that is the most viable strategy. Especially when you're mage. Screw you, buddy. Bunch of sixes. Oh hi. What are you and what do you want? Okay, sounds good. But there's a side of grace literally right behind him. <laughs> Alright, we will see if we can stun him. If we can't, then he is a bypass. Okay, that works. It just requires a uh, full mana bar, full focus point bar. Kill him. I do think it's kind of funny how the game just absolutely tanks. That looks like a boss arena. Drop. Banished Knight Greaves. Well, 
All right. These guys they luckily make a lot of noise when they walk around. Hello, good sir knights. Get stun luck today. Finish that great so. Um, another stun smart key. Key full mana. Alright. Oh no. Okay, good enough. Okay, well, we can't survive that ball. Maybe this one. Bless the night. Must have blocked one of them. Okay, so what's over here? One of those banished knights, and it looks like he has two great swords. Luckily, these attacks all take a bit. Okay, so that was the area we could have jumped down into. Just had that banished knight. Oh, hello. The gold skin doer. Uh, Roy. We have a slight problem. In that, I don't have any mana at the moment. If I can get them to line up, that would be good. Oh no. I'm sorry, I figured this was going to happen. Alright. Now we can summon a friend though. Let's see, what do we normally kill the gold skin dudes with? Could kill him with something like this. Could potentially retaliate with this. It costs eight. Be something that'd be better on a on a shield. Uh, that's going to be entirely too slow. Try ice cracking them. Could work. Well, that's just telling you if you use a bow, you can snipe that guy. All right, sounds good. Now we just need to be able to run past these guys. 
and not get hit by anything. What the fuck? Am I going to go into the ball store? Sometimes I feel like that parrot. What the fuck? Eh. Is this one I have to use? Yes, for some reason. Sounds good. Let's go fight the Elden Beast and get the ending. <laughs> so I can start a new playthrough. Alright. There we go. We burned it. What's going on here? Uh, didn't we burn the air tree? Do we have to come at it from the Queen's bed chamber? Should we be able to get into... Isn't the air tree supposed to be on fire right now? We have to go back to round two of hold. I'm so confused. Okay, well, she's not here. Your tree is on fire. I think. Yeah, it's on fire. Maybe we have to go to the round table first? soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the Erd Tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Mikola of the Halig Tree, the Unalloyed, his twin, Melania, the undefeated swordswoman, Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala, 
and the one only known as the Lord of Blood. Rani is said to have cast aside her great rune, so here at the Hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost rite known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Ah, so the secret medallions led you to the land of the Hailing Tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely. But with the Hailing Tree as it is, I suppose Mikola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Black Flames Protection. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? Right. So I'm guessing the round table hold is in the uh, Erd Tree. Hey, buddy. No. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently, my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Oh, thanks. All right, well, who else is here? You do burn of flame, so firestorm, giant's red braid, flame dance. It's a lock of his hair. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, the star scourge stuff. Bring two swords together and roll into the sky, spilling enemies. With a gravitational wave. You know, I've, I have seen stuff where people use this and like pull people off of cliffs and stuff. It's hilarious. For Dylan's rain. Very nice. Waves of darkness. The bastard star is. All right then. Nebula. That's what the other one had. Interesting. Waves of darkness. Hmm. Okay, sounds good. Uh, 
Oh, that's because we killed um, Loretta. Haven for our Albanyrex. Determined that the Helic Tree was their best chance for eventual salvation. Okay, sounds good. About everyone else. Take a look around. The round table holders burned, raised to the ground. Don't worry. I don't blame you. I'll continue spirit tuning just the same, which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave. His roots are so knotted in this place. He won't last much longer if he stays here. His shackles are broken. He's a free man now. It's high time he put the round table behind him. Next spirit teaming. All right, Hugh. It's time to go. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Weren't you listening? As I've always said. You came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. Two of those. Oh. Can take this plus ten. Nice. Lay out your arm. All right then. What about you? You're gone. Sounds good. All right. I see. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse, a fearsome curse put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Rathen. Hugh. Lay out your arms. I've upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I'll be ruined with the round table. 